So here we are then in Oroba City. Just dropped down and howdy trainer, this kid's coming to meet us. If you don't have a single gym badge, other trainers will look down at you like you're a total noob, right? Really harsh on that kid, I've only just met him. But anyway, he's going to show us where the gym is. Just down here, it's obviously a rock type gym, lots of rock type things around. Someone already there and look who it is, it's Barry. Let's speak to him, see what he's got to say. Slow like always, it's because you rush around mate. But it looks like he's already got his gym badge, but the gym leader is not here. Just gonna double check. Turtwig, Turtwig, Turtwig's absolutely fine. So let's head down towards the mine then, see if we can't find Rourke. That's what I believe his name is anyway. Bring him back, see what this... Oh, what have we got here then? Geodude, I haven't got much intentions of getting a Geodude. Don't need one. Don't need one. Don't need that rock type. Feel that we've got to be a bit more balanced. Anyway, let's head down here towards towards the bottom of the mine, I guess. Ooh, little Pokeball there. That's another potion. Always helpful. And there's Rock in his lovely builder's helmet. With a torch on it. Miner's helmet, I should say. He's going to use Rock Smash on this rock. There you go. Lovely little cinematic way of doing it. Won't be able to use Rock Smash until we beat him and he's just ran off. Another Geo dude, absolutely no intention, like I said, of catching one of these, so hopefully we can just get away pretty easy. Yeah, there's another Pokeball here, so... Oops. Still getting used to these controls, unfortunately, and I found an escape rope. Should we use it? We'll see how many, uh, see how many Geo dudes we run into. <coughs> wonder if there's any other Pokemon that you can get in this mine other than Geodudes. Like a coal mine, so. There was that cave in Sword and Shield where you could get roly colies and uh, things like that. That was a proper coal mine. Looks like we've managed to get out of the first basement of this. This guy runs quicker up the stairs than he does anywhere else. Anyway, back up towards Orenburg City. And now we can enter the gym. Nice little cinematic showing us the gym. I think we're going to battle both of these trainers. I think if you've got any opportunity to battle any trainer, you should go for it. As a kid, I probably got a bit bored and I would want to just, you know, go to the next gym or whatever, just pile through the game. But it's important that you get these extra. XP points where you can. We've got a Geodude to take down here. Leafage should be super effective. Here we go. And that is one hit. Sturdy not coming into action for Geodude there. Sometimes they have Sturdy on them, which stops them from getting KO'd, I believe. And Abra grows to level 9. Again, nothing learnt here, so it might take a while for Abra to learn any type of moves. I think maybe. Just trying to think of the moves I might learn, so maybe Confusion, uh, Amnesia, things like that. Really soft psychic moves. I can't think of anything else really. It's been a while since, uh, been a while since I've played any Pokemon game. Leafage, here we go. Level 8 Geo dude, so that, yeah, that wasn't going to do much. An Onyx. A bit different. Nice to see though. Going to use Leafage again. It's 
Smackdown. Nice little cinematic there, but it's not doing all that much damage against us. And a KO on Onyx there, so that'll give us a decent amount of XP, I would hope. Even if it was only level 8. Yeah, well over 100 share between both. And they both go up a level. And we're going to learn Razor Leaf just before the final battle. And I'm going to replace it. I'm going to replace Growth. Growth isn't going to do all that much for us, so yeah. Razor Leaf instead, good move. And Abra goes up to level 10 as well. Still nothing learned on Abra's part. Well, let's go. Base Rock. Here we go. Welcome, this is the Oroba Pokemon Gym. I'm Rock, the gym leader, but the I'm but one trainer who decides to proudly walk with rock type Pokemon. As a gym leader, I'll need to see your potential as a trainer. I'll need to see our toughness of the Pokemon that battle with you. Here we go. Nice little cinematic, similar to the ones we used to get back in the Emerald, you know, days, I think. And he's got three Pokemon, 3v3. Is it 3v3? It looked like three then on my side, but no, two, isn't it? It's just me and uh, Turtwig and Abra. Here we go. So, start off with a Razor Leaf. May as well go see what that's like. KO, super effective, and a critical hit as well to match, so that's really good for us. Really good start in this gym, and a decent amount of XP. He's going to move on to his Onyx now. Level 12 again, so this is going to be a hefty amount of XP if we can take this down, but it's used Stealth Rock, which if we choose to bring out Abra, which I highly doubt we will, unless we're forced to. It's going to it's going to affect it's going to affect it straight away because as soon as a new Pokemon comes into the battle arena, it gets hit with the Stealth Rocks. Another Razor Leaf there. That potion didn't do enough for Rock, and we take down the Onyx. Abra up to level 11, really going through the gears now. And Kranidos is his final Pokemon. Here it comes, Kranidos, the base level of that particular evolutionary line. Rampardos is a much cooler Pokemon, we might get to see that in the future. Headbutt did a lot of damage there and also put us into Spot of Bobber here. Three damage, couldn't move, we're going to have to use a potion here because that that headbutt has really knocked us back quite a lot. We're going to have to hope that it goes for some kind of... No, going to use headbutt again. 1 HP and it's a critical hit. Dangerous, dangerous times for a little Turtwig here. Headbutt again. What I'm going to do is I'm going to switch Abra out and hope it can just withstand one or two. Because if it can, then we've got the opportunity. Oh, I've been hit by the Stealth Rocks, which I said. Kronidos is going to continue with that head, but I had hoped that we'd maybe be able to get a potion in on uh, Turtwig in time but it doesn't look like that's going to happen the stealth rocks if we're bringing this back in knock it down to three this is this is not going our way is it the so potion going to use it on little turtwig hopefully it chooses to use something different other than headbutt no really insistent on using that headbutt I'm going to keep using these potions until such a time that we can get at least one Razor Leaf shot off. Back up to 28. It's going to use Headbutt again. It's absolutely relentless. It isn't using anything else. I would have hoped that it used a Leer or Screech or something. We could get, you know, a shot away. No. Final potion now. 
go up to full health, back up to full health with our little tear twig. So we're going to be hit by the headbutt and hopefully be able to get this razor leaf off. It's used Leah, so finally we might be able to get a shot off here. This could be incredibly important that it's come all the way down to this. Razor leaf, uh, super effective but not enough. Not enough there. Needs one more. Going to use a potion as well, but that's going to take take a turn off him. It's only gone up there, so this needs to hit now. This is way more tense than I expected, but finally we get there. Thank God we went and got them potions earlier on in the save, because without them, we would not have won this at all. Not even close. Turtwig grows to level 14, and we have won our first gym badge against Rourke. Really tough for that. We just had to really grind that out. He's gone and lost. He's gone and lost to a trainer who had no gym badges. Embarrassed. But here we go. We've got our official Pokemon League Cole badge. And there you go. Lovely cinematic showing as our little wallet there. Really good stuff. And there we go. Perfect. HM76 Stealth Rock, don't think we'll be using that but nice to have it anyway and we've got some little stickers there got a little TM perfect and let's leave the gym and go on to our next journey head out back into Ormberg City then and we're going to check our town map because that gives us little pointers as to where we should go so the li little red flag I don't know if you can see up in the top corner and on our head there suggesting that we go more to the left side of Ormberg City so I'm just going to head over here and see if there's anything that pops out at us there we go Barry's already stopped us good sign now we're going in the right way so we've got the gym badge, yes we have, then Eterna City is the next place that he wants to go, so that's a good sign. You can't go on Route 207 because that's for bikes only. He's toughened up his team as well, so that's a bit of a worry if we're going to meet him soon. And he's on his way. So now we should be able to use Rock Smash, which means we should think be able to go up here yes it does so while Bidoof is coming in to help us rock smash which is good get through get through here and down into the basement you could say of the cave use rock smash a few times using this wild Bidoof And it looks like a ramp there with a... Uh... Can we go there? No, oh, yeah we can. Good stuff. We've got the Stardust there, that can be sold at the market for a decent amount of money. Once we get a bike we'll be able to hit that ramp as well. Wild Pokemon here and it's a Zubat which is one that I wanted to catch. So if this is a decent enough level I'll be tempted to actually catch this. Level 9, that's really good. I wasn't expecting that. Astonish. Hit tap. I probably should have gone to the um, Pokemon Center just before this, but use Supersonic, but we managed to avoid it. Get a tackle. Get it onto Red Health. That's really good. And then let's throw the Pokeball and hope we can capture this Zubat. Zubat is a really versatile Pokemon. So you've got obviously the flying type. The flying element but then you've also got the poison type and it can learn ghost moves as well such as astonish which you just saw there decent amount of xp for catching it and yeah it can uh, eventually go into gold bat and obviously crow bat if i get how it evolves into crow bat i will actually have to probably google that sadly i said i wouldn't google much but you can't remember how to get a crow bat you kind of need to you know help yourself and google these kind of things but yeah another zoo bat here Tempted to use that repel that I picked up earlier. Level 9 again, so not bad. Couldn't get away this time. It's going to use Absorb, so it's not going to do much against us. We're going to just try and run away again. 
And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Repel. wonder where they find these. Ax Defense. Repel. So it's in the other item's pocket. So I think that gives us 100 steps now. So hopefully get out of this cave unscathed at the other side without having to run into any more geodudes, zubats, that kind of thing. TM70 flash. They're all hidden as TMs now, these hidden hidden moves you used to get. You know, your flash, surf, um, rock smash, all them types. Smash this rock on our way out. And then head out back towards Jubilife City. Back to Route 203 then. Ooh, Pell just wore off right there. I was wondering what that message was then. All the way back to Jubilife City, hopping over the walls, no danger. And we'll go back to the Pokemon Center as well. So just come up to the top of Jubilife City and we've got Rowan and Dawn here with some galactic grunts who are threatening Dawn in hope of a return of, well, the professor's work out we've, uh, we've learnt. So, me and Dawn, I think, are going to take on both of these grunts now in a double battle. It'll be nice to see her pip up, I believe. And we've got a Zubat here as well, so see what we can do here then. So I'm going to try and go with Razor Leaf because it can take out both and hope that she takes out the... I was hoping she'd try and take out the zoo but not much damage done to either of them unfortunately. Astonish is used on Piplup and Wormpool uses Poison Sting which is super effective and also will leave us with a poison turtwig, unfortunately. Which will do a fair amount of damage, to be fair. So I'm going to hit... I'm going to hit uh, Zubat now. Yeah, that was the hope that she would go for the Wormpole and we'd be able to hopefully take out this Zubat in the next two turns. Decent amount of damage there. It's going to use Absorb on Piplup, which could be super effective, but hasn't done all that much given the level difference. Once again, we're hurt by Poison. We're going to have to tackle this Zubat and hope that Piplup does the same. Piplup gets the water gun on first, and there uh, is the game. There's the match done and dusted. Beat the grunts and hopefully they'll clear off now and leave the professor alone. So I think they're going after some sort of evolution energy and trying to harness that power in some way. What's the reason? What's the reason for their actions? We haven't seen any evolution yet on any of our Pokemon, so it's a, it's a well-timed, well-timed little thing that. Oh, someone's coming up to us here. Where was that? You just now? That was amazing. Those guys looked awfully scary, but you sure showed them. Do that was our breath of fresh air. Anyway, my name is BB, and I work as a system administrator in Heart Home City, east of here. Now as a thanks for putting on such a good show, I'll let you access Pokemon boxes from anywhere and I'll give you the ball capsules as well. So I think you can decorate your own Pokeballs on this using the stickers that you gain from certain places as we just had with Rourke back there at the um, Ouroboe Gym. But also we can access our boxes from everywhere so we don't actually need to go to the computers at the side of the desk in the Pokemon Center to you know, gain Pokemon that we get, you know, in the future. But yeah, on to Route 204 now.